Hi, I'm Bill McPhee, CEO of Magpie Media Inc., your partner in mental wellness. Welcome to today's recovery blog. Um, today I had a question from um, Karen, and Karen writes, she says, uh, I am wondering if you could talk about and maybe provide some statistics on the percentage of people with schizophrenia and schizoaffective disorder who do well on their medication with few side effects and who are functioning with a good quality of life. I know of several people with schizoaffective disorder, especially who are able to work full time, own homes, enjoy good relationships, and are very active in their communities, etc. I think it would give many people hope to know that much is possible and that there is life after mental illness. Well, Karen, thank you for uh, your question. And to uh, start off with uh, your ending point there and say that, yes, first of all, yes, there is life after mental illness. Now, a few of the statistics is that with schizophrenia is that one out of a hundred people, one out of every hundred people, one percent of the population will have a uh, schizophrenia, schizoaffective uh, disorder. Now, in saying that, um, it affects males and females fairly equally, but there's a, a, a later uh, response. So with men and women, women get hit a little bit later than men. Usually if women get hit, say at their 24 or, or, or you know, 23 area, they get hit a little bit later and they may have, um, they may have, um, have a career started or they may have had some previous education or have uh, some education behind them. So when they do get stabilized and, and ready to go back to work or find work, they can do that. Males have a tendency to get hit with this illness a little bit earlier in life, uh, usually between the ages of, say, 16 and 25. There's always exceptions to that, but that's usually the rule of thumb. And as I mentioned, women get hit a little bit later, and so they do well, more, do better usually than, than most of the, the than males. With schizophrenia, you have basically three kind of uh, patterns. Uh, one third of people with this illness will bounce back and have very high quality and productive lives. I consider myself falling into that category of that one third population. The other, uh, uh, two, the two thirds, another third of that is that people, uh, one third of them will um, be taking medication and be stabilized and will be stable uh, however, they may not have uh, uh, as well as a uh, quality of life as the top third. And the reason for that is that their, their situation may be stable. Um, they may be uh, into reality, but they may be dealing with negative symptoms or self-esteem problems or just getting back on track. What happens is they get stuck. People get stuck there. They're back into reality, but they're stuck. They don't get back to school. They don't get back to work. Um, and and uh, it's hard to find opportunity for them uh, to get up to a higher level. Now, there's also a one-third of the population with this illness where medication does not uh, affect people, where the medication doesn't work for them. And so, therefore, uh, you know, the it's hard for them to get back into reality to help their voices their psychosis and everything and so there's a third of them that that don't that don't fare as well now in saying that uh with that it's it's another statistic is that 80 percent of people with this illness with schizophrenia schizoaffective disorder will go off their medications 80 percent of the people um, schizophrenia, uh, some more stats, uh, affects, uh, is worldwide, affects 1% of the population worldwide. That means in every culture, in every situation, in every land, uh, that is at, uh, every country, there's the statistic one out of a hundred. I should say that 50% of people with schizophrenia will try to commit suicide at one time, uh, during their illness. And I was like that as well. I had a suicide attempt. Uh, with my with my illness, and actually 10% of people follow through or are successful with suicide, if you call that a success. So, Karen, hopefully I've asked some uh, answered some of your questions uh, on that. Uh, but again, 
that's in the thirds and people can do very well um, so Karen thank you for your question and if you have a question for me just email me at bmcfee at magpiemags.com or go to our website at mentalwellnesstoday.com and uh, remember that we really want to be your partner in mental wellness have a great day